All right, the app comes up. Scrolling through are the nearest properties to where your phone is standing according to the GPS. Let's say you want to look at nearby properties. You hit nearby properties. It's going to show you a list. Uh, again, this is GPS based. These are all of the IDX properties in the Dallas area. I want to see them on a map actually. So I click there. Shows me that's where the convention center is. Let me scroll out a little bit and see some listings. Here's the draw tool. You click draw. And then with your finger, you pretty much indicate, all right, show me this area right there. And then it's going to show me all of the listings. Now, these are, again, these are not just Keller Williams listings. These are IDX listings. So I'm going to switch back now to that list view. There uh -huh. we go. All right, so here's my list view of all the properties that I had just highlighted on the map. Um, I want to see the details of that one right there. Here's my property details. Um, I can scroll down and read the details at any point when I'm looking at the property. I can click contact and that button is going to either call, email, or text the agent that sent me the link to this app. Let's say I want to see the photos in a little bit larger side. I turn it to the side and now I've got my larger photos. Uh, honestly, this screen is going to change here. This isn't the final way it's going to look, but you get the idea. Larger photos, smaller photos, and then you go back to the home screen of the map. We do have some additional buttons besides these on the screen. Go to the second row of commands and you've got the ability to save searches, save your properties, etc. Nearby open houses, it's very similar to nearby homes, except it's only going to filter out the properties that have an open house scheduled. Uh, then you've got the advanced search now and that one you can specify a little bit more of the criteria so for example you can give a specific zip code you can give price ranges um, so see so you've got like your beds and baths you've got account settings and account settings again, contact, contact the, the agent, agent and share, share the app, app. And the next screen was what save your search save your properties both of those by the way create a registration that equals a lead uh, search for agent and search for office. By the way, those are not going to show up on an agent's app gotcha. because you don't want to be able to search for other agents on your app. Those would whole, only be on the unbranded version of the app. And the whole app. time you've got your name there at the bottom as the agent. That's right. Cool. Your app, your leads. Nice. Thank you very much. All right, sure.